So what are the top tips if you suspect that you have long COVID symptoms due to autonomic dysfunction? One of the top tips that I could give you is to try to increase your fluid intake. How much fluid should one be drinking? Something like two and a half to three liters a day. When should you drink it? You should drink it in the morning when you are likely to be the most dehydrated. Have a glass or a flask of water by your bedside and to drink 500 mils of water, lie down or sit down on the side of your bed and wait for five minutes until the water absorbs very quickly through your gut and then get up and do the morning routine. The other top tips is to try and wake your blood pressure up. So sometimes I tell my patients to sit by the side of the bed and start to do some bicep curls or straight leg raises for about 20 cycles each. And that in itself may start to allow the blood to come up to your heart. Now, if you have autonomic dysfunction symptoms that continue throughout the day and you feel slumps of energy and more fatigue, you become less able to cope with sustained periods of work and less able to focus. And after lunch, you have an energy slump and you feel you can't continue. How do you counter this? You have smaller meals with less carb, perhaps more frequently, because this will not trigger such an expansive response in your gut bed. The one other tip that you can do all the time is to start to fidget. So there is a particular exercise which is quite useful called an isometric counterpressure exercise. It's when you put your hands together and maybe cross your legs and you start to pull up your toes to the ceiling and start to clench your gluteal muscles, your buttocks, quadriceps and calves. And you can hold that tension for about 20 seconds. And this tension squeezes the blood back up into the heart and improves the blood pressure or blood flow into the brain. You often find a sudden burst of energy or alertness to reduce some of the brain fog symptoms that you might experience. So one other top tip is to pace yourself. So set your expectations first thing in the day and know how you feel. Reduce your daily workload and reduce the expectation placed upon yourself to achieve all those things you want to try and achieve because you're going to set yourself up for a fall. Oftentimes, just being kind to yourself in resetting what you're able to do and what you can and should be achieving is a step that is very important in allowing you to dial down the adrenaline levels 